name is Mike from Audio Design, and today we have Chris from Alpine to discuss the new Alpine processor. Hey Mike, thank you for having me. So today we're presenting the Alpine PXE0850S. This is a processor that just released uh, about a year ago. Our product, let's focus on the input section. In the input section, you have a choice of six levels input. That could be low level input or even high level. You also have the option for the fiber optic in or coaxial. Nice. So, you know, what I like about the, the optical and the coax digital input is it allows uh, audio design to give flexibility to our customers to add any peripherals, whether it's a new DAC or any other player. With the six channels of preamp input, a lot of customers want to be able to add balance and fade control and subwoofer level control with uh, their aftermarket head unit. And of course, having the high level input is crucial for OEM integration when we're maintaining the factory head unit. Now on the other side, Mike, we have the output section. The option of the output section, we provided consumers to have 12 channels outputs. You know, my favorite part about those 12 channels of output is it also has, out of those 12 channels, eight channels can be powered through the 25 watts RMS the processor puts out. The awesome thing about that is we can run mids and tweeters off of those 25 channels, 25 watts, and we can add a simple five channel amp to the system and run a full active system with two channels in the front, three channels in the front, it doesn't matter. And all those channels can be adjusted with time alignment, EQ, and crossover. And the graphic EQ, also parametric EQ on this processor, is awesome to use. And with that being said, Mike, also with those 12 channels of output, or even the eight power channels output, you can choose which channels you want, and you can assign those individual channels to each individual drivers, telling which driver to do which uh, sound. So for an example, if you had a tweeter on channel one, tweet on channel 2. You can even make channel 8, 9, or 10 to be the sub or even the mid-range. There's a flexibility so that up to the technician to choose what he wants for each channel. And many competitors uh, processor cannot do that. So it's a very powerful, very versatile. Awesome. Included with our DSP is also this unique controller. It looks like the original Alpine singleton radios, but just a half size of that. With this control, it allows the consumers to change six presets and also the sub-level control, the sub-level gain. You know, beyond everything that you just mentioned, the best thing about the way this controller is, is the way it looks. And also the flexibility in the installation that allows us to install it into a car if the customer chooses and have it look natural inside the vehicle. In today's vehicle, it's more and more difficult to add controllers, knobs, anything, and have it look natural and make it look like it complements the interior of the car. Correct. And to speak on top of that, what's nice about this is that it is not required to be installed. With or without it, the processor is still active. What's great about it is for a lot of vehicles where if they don't have space, you don't need to install this. You can just tuck it away or even unplug it. Nice. Another cool feature about this processor is that Included in the package is also this Bluetooth dongle. We provide this so that consumers are able to stream directly into the processor. You know, one of the best things about this processor is for advanced users, it allows you to make adjustments yourself, change presets, but most importantly, let's say you have a classic car. You can stream your music straight onto it. No longer need for a head unit. Correct. And that's also getting more popular these days too. Another thing to inquire about the Bluetooth is that the software, the tuning. This processor that we provide have two ways of tuning. You can use PC or you can also use smartphone. And giving the option for PC and smartphone gives the added flexibility to the consumer or to the technician while they're tuning. That's right. And it works with iOS folks. That's a big part. You know, Chris, thanks for going over the processors. I invite everyone to visit our website, which is www.shopaudiodesign.com, or always feel free to come visit us at the store and come take a look and a listen. We have all of this ready to go for you. Thanks again, and for thanks again for having me, Mike, and for tuning in.